Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the achievement of the national team in the IMMAF Youth European Open Championships held in Rome, Italy, where the team won one gold medal and four bronze medals. His Highness affirmed that this result is the first of a series of gold medals in this participation, expressing aspirations that the players continue to achieve more outstanding results. His Highness hailed the distinguished interaction of Championship Organizing Committee with the general classification of national teams recently issued by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, whose top rank was held by Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed aspirations to continue achieving honorable results in all MMA participations and championships, noting that the main goal is to achieve the top ranking of the general classification of national teams that will participate in the sixth edition of the World Amateur MMA Championships, which will be hosted and organized by the kingdom during the International Brave Week. His Honor Sheikh Khalid asserted his support for the players in the championship by accompanying them during the training and the fights. The Kingdom of Bahrain held today the graduation ceremony of the Arabian Gulf University's 14th batch, which witnessed the graduation of 228 students from GCC countries, from the Colleges of Medicine and Medical Science, Graduate Studies and the French Arabian Business School, under the patronage of the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Nuaimi, and in the presence of a number of officials from inside and outside the Kingdom, and the students' families. During the ceremony, the Minister of Education affirmed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide all facilities and support to the Arabian Gulf University, which is a great example of Arab and academic cooperation, stressing that Bahrain supports all efforts that aim to promote Gulf educational cooperation. He highlighted the distinguished role of the university in enriching the Gulf, which distinguished graduates in many disciplines, especially medicine, as well as achieving many outstanding scientific and research achievements locally, regionally and internationally. The minister expressed sincere congratulations to the graduates and their families, which coincides with Bahrain's education centennial, and praised the efforts of university's president, board of trustees and academic and administrative bodies. The president of the Arab Gulf University, Dr. Khalid bin Abdul Rahman Al-Ohali, delivered a speech in which he expressed the 
the university's pride in organizing the ceremony, praising the kingdom's support of the university thanks to the royal directives of His Majesty the King and the support of the university's member states. A student delivered a speech where she expressed thanks and appreciation to the university and the graduates were then honored. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, signed the agreement for the implementation of the first phase of the development of Sheikh Zayed Highway with the United Arab Emirates Western Bainuna Group worth 23 million and 400,000 Bahraini dinars. In the presence of UEE Ambassador Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, within the framework of the Gulf Development Program and funded by the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, the Minister said that the expansion project is of strategic importance on the main road network in the kingdom. The first phase includes the expansion of Sheikh Zayed Highway to three routes in each direction from Avenue 16 December to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway and from the western roundabout in Ali to Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway and replacing the four roundabouts to traffic light intersections. The project also includes lighting, landscaping and rainwater drainage. The project will contribute to easing the traffic congestion in Ali and Salmabad and facilitate access to these areas. It will also contribute to easing access to the educational district in Isa town and easing traffic jams in front of the driving school and Bahrain National Stadium. Implementation of the project will begin immediately upon completion of procedures and the implementation period of the project will be 24 months.